My people, I will not be. Hope you don't hear about the charismatic radio station where they sound like Hoover, AYO Radio. Now, AYO Radio, the young better to read, give updated news and music where they run down. Sport news, sing Now, everything you go enjoy for AYO Radio. AYO Radio, the charismatic radio station. <laughs> Television, power bank, three sims, radio. What else does he have? Uh, it's got touch light. <laughs> it's got everything basically. Trust me. And it costs seven thousand. Well, approximately eight thousand naira. Go and get it. I don't know the name. You understand? But it's got sim three sim cards. You understand? You can put three sim cards in there, and it's got television. This is the screen, television, clear. It's got radio, it's got power back, imagine power back. Then I wonder, why has a mobile phone, just one mobile phone, has everything like this? Can you see that on Instagram? Can you see? It's a mobile phone and it takes three SIM cards. It's got television, it's got radio, it's got power back, imagine power back to charge your another phone i don't know what is that does he have he's got a lot one mobile phone for approximately eight thousand naira uh in the uk how much is that in the uk i don't know i can't i can't remember you work here anyway eight thousand naira approximately it's not eight thousand naira on the dot yeah shout out to dj fmc yeah london's finest hotel big up 
and thanks for listening. Yeah, welcome to AYO Radio UK. Now you are about to listen to Master Serena with Scarface, aka Adidapo Amedo. Enjoy. Hey, hey, hey. Good day, everybody. This is Master Serena reaching from the stable of AYO Radio. And when you're hearing the voice, you know it's your number one biggest spokesperson. Adidapo Amed, 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 Amed. Yes, yes, yo. Masters Arena reaching you live and direct from our studio. And um, if there's one thing you know, you know that we never joke, we never play on this program. We try our best to make sure that um, you get the very, very, very best of programming. And um, AYO Radio, we all know, is the number one radio station in the whole of Lagos. Yes. In the background, you can hear what is going on live and direct. Yes, uh, we are in the season. We are in the season. The season is where we are now. This is the season for, uh, this is the Christmas season, the Yuletide season. And um, today, we are going to be having a special Christmas program. Yes, Christmas themed Master Lorena. I know you love to hear something like that. Well, well, well. What is Christmas? What is Christmas all about? What, what does Christmas mean to you? I would love, you know, Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid I have to stop the program. Uh, it's badly recorded. Uh, I played it before and obviously uh, I couldn't believe it. So I'm trying it again and the same thing is happening. So I'm going to have to stop uh, the broadcasting. It's not good for radio broadcasting. As I said before, look at this phone. I'm advertising it and I'm not getting paid for it. Trust me, I'm not getting paid for it. You can also um, log on to your what's it called your Facebook. Yeah, it's got so many features in it. I'm trying to unlock the phone. Uh, okay, I'm trying to. You see, it's got analog TV something player. Yeah, it's not finished. Oh. It's not finished. Oh. I will show you another thing that it's got. You will bow for me. Trust me. Can you imagine? With this one, you can go on your Facebook account, you can go on Twitter. So it's got the social media there. And I know that you're all waiting to find out if it's got what's up. Embrace yourself. <laughs> See, nobody what's up with that. See the symbol now. See the symbol. You get what's up now. I've been mean, now, see, I'm, I'm being now only me this year because you never know China. Eh? Then if they can say now only me go to see him, you yourself, you know go to see him. See? <laughs> yeah. It's a lovely phone. You can even Bluetooth music from your phone to any old, anyone. You understand? It's got camera. You can take pictures with it. But the funniest thing about the camera is <laughs> you're gonna laugh about this. You know normally in all phones when you want to take picture you see that like this or you turn it around or somebody or you turn it around like this to take pictures or like this yeah but with this phone if you want to is you can film video but if you want to video or film this is where it goes <laughs> okay that's the funniest part of it you know it's like you can take selfie like this but with this phone you can only take selfie like this can you imagine looking at yourself? Because the camera is here. Most phones have their cameras here and cameras in front and back here. But this phone has got camera here. Can you see that? Can you see that? Everybody, can you see? I, I think um, I will actually recommend this phone to, <laughs> to a hunter, <laughs> security man, because you're not going to believe it. The touch light is incredibly bright. Look at it. For night time, eh, you go bow. For night time, can you see? You can even use it to film in the club if you're a camera person. 
you can use it this is your camera and then this is your light it's very very bright especially in nigeria but you know what what i was using it for in nigeria i was using it i was actually using the sometimes i was telling on it which was not necessary but in the office in our studio you understand sometimes i watch telly on it and i listen to radio as well but most importantly when i'm at home when never take their light when never mess us up you understand i just carry my my mobile phone and the house is so bright and i leave you on all night let me tell you let me bust your bubble now yeah you have to believe this you have to believe this because i'm not lying I came back to UK uh, on the 1st of December. Today's what? Today is 10th of December. Yeah, 10th of December today. But I came back to UK from uh, 1st of December. And I charged this phone from Nigeria. Since I came back to me, to UK, I've left it on. I never turned it off. Look at the battery. It's still full. In full mode. Full capacity. That's what I don't think. Okay, it's gone off. You must see it, yeah. It's still full. Look at the battery on top there. Can you see the battery? Yeah, it's still full. That is the beauty of this phone. You understand? Maybe because I hardly use it for social media. Obviously, I'm not going to carry this one around and start using this as a as a big boy now. Come on, you understand? But you know what? I'm proud of this phone and I love it. It's got power bank. Imagine for the fact that it's got power bank, I carry it around because of the power bank. Even if I'm a arm robber won't attack you and they won't take your phone from you. When they see this one, they go leave you alone. <laughs> well, the wicked one might shoot you. <laughs> you understand? So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's program. Unfortunately, we couldn't carry on due to uh, the production of the recording uh, or production of the program. So, poor production. Yes, we do apologize about that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Uh, I have to go now. You know, we're happy. Are you not happy? And um, just to let you know that um, now in Nigeria, you can now broadcast. We have started broadcasting since Saturday live in our Nigeria studio. So please take note. Um, we have started broadcasting from our Niger studio. You understand? Oh, so yeah. if you want to join yeah. us, you know what to do. Just contact our PR or our general manager for more details. Listen to this. officer Mary Hammer perhaps who is actually uh, at the moment looking after our, our studio in Nigeria and also um, Jesse Mwakama aka Sir James broadcast from Nigeria live from our Ikorudu studio yesterday so just to let you know everything is going on we are happy okay we are very happy. It's not only radio broadcasting that we do. We also do training in TV and radio broadcasting. And um, let me just be reading it. We do film and event shooting. So we're training people on how to film 
uh, at events or do proper film, cinema, cinema, cinematography, is that what they call it? And we do training in photography. Uh, I said it before, radio presentation, TV presentation, music production, jingle production, music video production, voiceover, modeling. We also train people on how to model, how to cut work, film editing. Uh, Miriam, Miriam, perhaps, is one of our students um, and she has learned how to film and uh, edit film on her own independently. She's really good. Uh, we train people on directing, we train people on DJing, if you want to become a DJ, and also we train people how to write creatively, and also we train people on how to, um, on CCTV installation and English communication skills. So all is included. Please, ladies and gentlemen, take our number down. Um, the number is 0808-673-1034. I repeat, 0808-673-1034 or 0902-455-3788 or plus 447-932-339-724. You can always get us on WhatsApp as well. And our studio is located at Suite A, Aike Plaza. And in Kesaka Plaza, 72 Shagamu Road, Agbala Road, uh, Lagos State. So, ladies and gentlemen, come and join AYO Radio. We also do video coverage and photography for your events. Any event you want to have in uh, all over Nigeria. So, we do video coverage and photography, um, courtesy of Lonely Media Academy UK, Niger and Facebook Television Network is a big collaboration of two media industry, one from UK and one from Nigeria. So please come and do business with us. You will surely enjoy us. You will not regret it at all, at all, as Nigeria will go see. At all, at all. Um, everybody's been celebrating Cardi B. Um, Cardi B is Nigeria and Ghana visits. Um, everybody, Africa is embracing art right now. But the question is, this is my own question, is she actually heterosexual or bisexual or lesbian? Because um, a video of her surfaced where she was having uh, like, I don't want to call it orgy, orgy would be a wrong word to use. Um, if, anyway, you know, those strippers, female strippers, and she was slapping their bum. I even saw a bit where she actually beat uh, a lady's bum in a sexual way. You know, not to hurt her, but in a sexual way. She was with lots of ladies. So I'm thinking, what's going on? Do you have male artists too, you know, going to strip clubs and dancing with naked men? you know, a male artist dancing with naked men's video in it. So why is it okay, if it's not okay for male artists to be doing that, why is it okay for a female artist like um, Cardi B? You understand? Nobody's talking about it. I want to talk about it because I'm confused. You understand? You have to be confused because you are seeing what she does. And she also complained um, that Ghanaian celebrities were upset with her, you know, because she forgot to meet up with the appointment because she didn't even know about the appointment. You understand? Was she right to forget about appointments? You understand? Or should we be blaming Ghanaian celebrities for complaining? Why shouldn't they complain if she there was a meet and greet or whatever you want to call it, uh, meeting with the Ghanaian celebrities and she didn't turn up, shouldn't they complain? Do they not have the right to complain? You understand? Yes, I think they do. I think they do. That's my own view. What do you think? If, if you're supposed to, say for example, I'm a journalist now and I go to, uh, for a conference or for a press conference or a meeting with a celebrity, you understand? And she, he or she didn't turn up. Will I just keep my mouth shut? Will I not say nothing? You understand? 
do I not have the right to complain, to say, hey, at least the least you could do is call us and cancel the appointment. Everyone's time is, means a lot to them, you understand? Whether we are as big as you or not, you understand, you still have to respect my time. The, the fact that I came down to, to an appointment with you and you didn't turn up and there was no message from you, then I think you owe me an apology. So, should Cardi B apologize to all Ghanaian celebrities? Yes or no? It's only your view that I need to um, mark by me now. Mark by me. Yes, sir. Oh, let me say what I borrowed. 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 So to the army, show us. 50k. Money where I use money, my mama. 50k for sunglasses. 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 50k for you gave me. Can you see that these celebrities are really enjoying? How does that make you feel? You understand? Um, to be, um, I don't want to use the word proper. Uh, I want to I use the word hustler. You understand? Hustler like me. And somebody's wearing glasses. The glasses I'm wearing now, the one that you can see, I can't even remember how much I bought it. Uh, I know that it's not going to be more than it's not going to be more than um, it's not going to be more than I don't know, 50 50 pounds it's not going to be more than 50 pounds yes, it's not more than 50 pounds let me actually see, because I've got so too many glasses that I can't even remember who is this one? Okay, this is from Jeff Banks. Uh, you all know that Jeff Banks is a, is a, is a designer. He may be British, I think he's a British designer. This is Jeff Banks. So I know it's not going to be more than, I'm just guessing, it's not, it's not going to be more than um, 50 pounds. It can't be. If it's more than that, well, that's the stuff. Yes, um, the video I'm about to show you is in Yoruba language, but this shows you how people actually treat um, people with disability in Nigeria, you understand? And uh, this boy is got a disability and he was brought to um, Western world and now they're comparing the way he was treated when he was in the Western world compared to how he's been treated in Nigeria. This one will move you. I'm not going to show you all of it because we haven't got time. Just less than five minutes I've got to go. Okay, enjoy. Let me see if I can start from the <laughs> Yes, omo mi da yi ko ki sha do ni mo ti ni pare ah mo do pe fun olo eh on gbe se emi ni alaji so ni boy te da yo baba hawal da yo ya ya da yo ya je akobi omo mi ni okore oni elekichi e to ni akobi ni okore Mama to be no more bekakiri pe bu lo omo yi se ri pe awon mo kan to mo ri bayi ni pe awon mo usaka ni omo kan ni kan to mo gbe kiri igba ti ko wa si mama mi mo odo mi lo wa wa o se lo si ile eko gege bi awon aburu re won wa ma nda pada seyin ni gbogbo gba ko mo ruko ko mo kan kan wa joko pe ah gbogbo yen na folo ka mi lai je ki ogbo se owo ti o le ko to no fi je eya That is the reason why. 
That's how they treat uh, disabled people. Ladies and gentlemen, we must stop the way we treat disabled people in Africa. They are human beings as well. In other parts of the world, they will treat these boys good. And yeah, that's what we do. We do see. We be. We do play. We do kill you. We do have. We do talk. We do talk. I need kill you. We do do. We do talk. We do. 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 We ati o wa ya won ibo lenu gba ti temi lo fe lo se gba se ti wa da won le gba se to pe bo wa ni bo lo lo mo lo fe lo se gba se won ah so le da lo o wa ri to da lo to da de ah o wa ya won lenu pe si eleyi si ara won si ni eleyi na so obi to ba ni ruwa ko e se ni ti won gbe pa mo iti ti e bi ni gbe won pa mo ni pe bo ni ola o se ri ah mo bo lo se ri ta ni to ju won ta ba si won sa la buru la la fi si lojo ni abi e gba the lesson to learn from this is please if you are disabled it's not the end of the world you can still do something with your life disability is not the end of the world no matter what happens to you you understand you are still better than other people in this world no condition in your life is permanent even if you have a condition you can improve your condition and make a better life out of it have you ever seen somebody getting knocked out like this Nobody. Nobody. See that punch. Yeah, congratulations to AJ. AJ, it's done. It. Yeah, he promised that he would do it, and he did it. And he also said he doesn't want celebration, but um, uh, Nigerians, one my fair, one my anything. Yeah, shout out to um. Lady Adebambo Daniel, aka Toke Daniel, for being our first presenter uh, to broadcast live from our Ikorodu studio last Saturday. Congratulations. 
is historical. Here are other students learning film editing in our studio in Nigeria. Okay, I don't want you to see everything to be honest because it's training in section. Yes, um, Do or Die, a new film by Toke Jamil out yesterday. Do or Die, go and grab your copy. Do or Die by C. Toke Jamil, Do or Die, a Yoruba film out yesterday. Go and grab your copy, 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 copy. Okay, and make sure you tell everybody about it. You hear it first. Hi, from my name me. is Emily. Okay. Um, me as an author. This is my daughter. And now I'm here to introduce myself as an independent travel agent. I'm really, really excited to talk to you about this amazing opportunity that I came across whilst in Costa Rica. So um, I went to Costa Rica a few months ago, um, and it was just such an amazing experience. I actually went um, because one of my friends lives there, and I really wanted to see her. But I also noticed one of my close associates was going, and I was really intrigued because she kept on posting about um, a retreat, and like all the advert advertisement looked so amazing. So I was really, really intrigued. So I ended up going to um, Costa Rica and I ended up going to this amazing convention called um, Melius Global Launch in Costa Rica and it was absolutely revolutionary. Um, I mean like, I'm sure people saw like on my story, it was just insane, you know, we were celebrating the company leaders and all the people in the business and it was just so, so exciting. So the reason I've made this video is really just to tell you guys a bit about Melius. So Melius um, is a network marketing company that specializes in travel, trade, and technology. Me, myself, I'm particularly interested in the travel aspect of things, and that's because I actually love to travel, and I'm sure you do too. Who doesn't love to go on holidays? Who doesn't love to go to um, different places and eat different types of food and eat different types of people? You see, that's my daughter. She's doing amazing jobs. She's an author. She teaches class. If you want uh, training, or lesson in maths and English, she does it as well. Uh, she's an author, she's a journalist, she's doing so much um, for her age. See, she looks like me as well. Who no one better too? <laughs> me about dear, she's gonna kill me for that. Thank you so much. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you today. You have a lovely day, and thanks so much for joining us on AYO Radio. My name remains DJ Ali, journalist, a.k.a. Metalocon Jr., a.k.a. Omayara Durani Mangoro, a.k.a. Alibaba and the 40 Chiefs, a.k.a. African Boy with Charisma. Yes, and tea with that sugar, if you like. A.k.a. Don't Go Morocco. They used to call me Don't Go Morocco when I was younger. A.k.a. Michael Jackson, because I used to dress and dance like Michael Jackson. You don't believe me. Go ask my mom. My people, I will be Hope you don't hear about the charismatic radio station where they sound like Hoover, AYO Radio. Now, AYO Radio, the young better to read, give updated news and music where they run down, sport news in Now, everything you will enjoy for AYO Radio. AYO Radio, the charismatic radio station. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. 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 I